Andrew, we're just moving your committee. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Andrew, we're on to the Communities, Housing and Economic Development Committee. OK, so this was the first meeting of the um, Communities, Housing and Economic Development Committee. Um, part A's, um, the sports ground charges issue um, certainly um, generated some discussion. Um, we were keen to make sure that no group was disadvantaged, but that we had a workable policy. Um, the committee recommendation, um, where are we? The committee recommendation, um, was that we um, yeah, should look at the ways that we can assist those non-affiliated groups through the long-term plan, um, but that we adopt the staff recommendation. Um, you'll see that I, I didn't vote along uh, with it along with Councillor Andrew Turner, but given that we can review our fees and charges through the long-term plan, I, I do think we need to do some more work um, because what we want to do is encourage active recreation and remove barriers from people, whether it's expensive, participation, etc. So I think the principles behind what the rugby club were asking for was really good. I think um, we need to do some more work around it. So in the meantime, I'm, I'm happy to um, vote for um, okay. what's in here on the basis that we're doing that further work, which will happen in the next few months. And likewise, I think the danger with a, um, a one-size-fits-all approach is that inevitably um, somebody gets left out, and we need to appreciate that there are different types of sports groups out there, some of which choose to affiliate, some of which don't. Um, exactly the same as Councillor Johansson, um, I'm happy to support the um, recommendation today on the basis that we do look at other options through the long-term plan process, as in um, 6.3. Okay, excellent. Uh, that's moved. Andrew um, seconded um, Ali. I'll put that, those in favour, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, carried. Item two, part B. Put the report as a whole. Those in favour, please say aye. Yanni. Can I just check that um, we have um, sent a letter to the Minister for Arts, Culture and Heritage? Um, well, it probably hasn't gone ahead of the council recommendation. No, no. Well, yes, it is. it's the committee recommendation, so maybe it needs a formal resolution. It says committee recommendation that the council seek a meeting with the Minister of Arts, Culture and Heritage I, to discuss I think, crutches, I think Leanne had him. Matters. Um, but we'll, ch we'll check so that. Can I move that the council do that? Well, we've, we've had confusion in the past. And that's let us the resolution consent. that's here is that the council do it, Yanni. Sorry, where's... The resolution is that the council seek a meeting with, or do you want a letter as well? Okay. You to, you to oh, right. I thought you were moving the part B thing, so that's one. I am. Oh, sorry. I, okay. So Which I'm one are you to on move then? this, and we probably need a seconder. Which, which one are you actually moving, Yanni? 2.11. 2.11. Yep. Um, yep. Yep. You know, yeah. also that would be my understanding as well, that the letter wouldn't have gone yet pending the council resolution, because right. if it came here okay. and the council said, no, don't yep. do that, so, but it will happen so as a result of this. 2.1.2, .2, I do wonder whether that has to be a part A as well. Which I'm happy to, you know, move. And Andrew. I would make the comment on this that we know that we have a, um, a meeting coming up um, with officials on Monday, I think it is, and dependent on the outcome of that meeting, there may or may not be a need for a meeting. I mean, to, to meet with the Minister and have a positive conversation yeah. about how we work through matters of interest for the city is a good thing, but to do that, if we've already resolved that at an officer level, may not be necessary. So, I mean, I, I certainly don't want to rule out the need to meet yep. with the Minister, but I, I want to give the meeting on Monday the best possible chance of success. It may well be that that doesn't um, answer all our questions or, or put everything to bed in the way that we would like. We can't prejudge how that meeting will okay. go. There may subsequently be a need to meet with the Minister, and that's something that we okay. would need to organise. So we'll that sort that time. after Monday. Yeah. The first one will happen anyway now. Wait, but hang on, the committee's already made that decision. So what you're saying is that won't be acted on until after Monday. Well, it won't be acted on until after Monday now anyway. Is that we still want 
um, a meeting with the Minister to discuss Victoria Square. Otherwise, if you don't want that, then you need to move the resolution. If the issue it. has not been resolved, then that meeting will be sought. If the issue has been resolved and we don't need the meeting, then we won't need to do it. Right. Okay. Can I, can I understand? Well, no, what? I think it's quite clear, Yanni. Can I put the whole report? OK, I just want to speak to 2.11. 2.11 is now going to happen. It wouldn't normally happen if it says that the council, it wouldn't happen until the council has resolved that, not the committee. So it will now happen. Great. So okay. we just, we need a seconder. Ah, OK. So, sorry. It. Yep. Seconded by Jimmy. So I just speak in support. Yep. Um, we have previously tried to meet with the Minister of um, Culture and Heritage. Obviously, we've had an election. There's a new minister, and I think it's really good to try and take the opportunity. Unfortunately, we didn't get a meeting uh, in the last term of the government with the minister responsible. Given that we've spent a lot of time around things like heritage recovery uh, and putting money uh, and resources into helping develop the heritage recovery plan, which is still outstanding and still yet to be signed off by government, I think it is timely that we try and meet with the new minister to go through those previous concerns we've had about around heritage uh, recovery in our city. Um, and I, I do note that other groups have extended invitations for her to uh, come to Christchurch. So I think it would be really good to do this urgently so that if there's a chance, you know, a visit to the art centre or a visit to the museum, actually tie it in together with, with coming and having a meeting with us. So really, I okay. um, think this is really important um, and um, very strongly supportive of doing it. Okay, I'll put that. Those in favour, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, carried. That the report as a whole be adopted. Those in favour, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, carried.